Blood pressure is an important indicator of cardiovascular health. It is influenced by the contractile activities of the heart and conditions and activities of blood vessels. Your goals for learning are to understand the terminology associated with measuring blood pressure, to understand the sounds heard during blood pressure measurement. Here's what you need to know. Anatomy of artery walls. To see definitions of terms, click the bold red words. Blood pressure is the force that blood exerts against blood vessel walls. The pumping action of the heart generates blood flow. Blood pressure results when that flow is met by resistance from vessel walls. Blood pressure is expressed in millimeters of mercury. For instance, a blood pressure of 120 millimeters of mercury is equivalent to the pressure exerted by a column of mercury 120 millimeters high. Notice that the blood cells in the center of the vessel are flowing faster than those near the walls. This is called laminar flow and is due to the friction, the resistance, between the blood and the vessel walls. By taking your pulse, you can feel that blood pressure fluctuates with each heartbeat. The pulse that you feel is actually a pressure wave which starts from the heart and travels throughout the arteries. We can use the graph created by this pressure wave to identify the component parts of blood pressure. Systolic pressure is the maximum pressure exerted by the blood against the artery walls. It is the result of ventricular systole, contraction, and is normally about 120 millimeters of mercury. The dichrotic notch represents the interruption of smooth flow due to the brief backflow of blood that closes the aortic semilunar valve. Diastolic pressure represents the lowest pressure in the artery, which is the result of ventricular diastole, relaxation. Diastolic pressure is usually around 80 millimeters of mercury. Pulse pressure represents the difference between the systolic pressure and the diastolic pressure. Pulse pressure equals systolic pressure minus diastolic pressure. Pulse pressure is the throb that you feel when you take your pulse. Mean arterial pressure, abbreviated MAP, is a calculated average pressure in the arteries. Mean arterial pressure equals the diastolic pressure plus one-third of the pulse pressure. Mean arterial pressure is not simply calculated as the average of systolic pressure and diastolic pressure because diastole lasts longer than systole, and so the mean arterial pressure is closer to the diastolic pressure than it is to the systolic pressure. The mean arterial pressure is the force that propels the blood to the tissues throughout the cardiac cycle.
When blood pressure is measured, a cuff is inflated to constrict an artery in the arm so that no blood flows through the artery. Click the bulb repeatedly to inflate the cuff until blood stops flowing. Now, as the cuff pressure is gradually released, but the artery is still partially constricted, blood flow resumes. Sounds can be heard with a stethoscope because the blood flows turbulently, causing audible sounds. Now, click on the bulb valve to deflate the cuff and hear the sounds. Note that when enough pressure is released to fully open the artery, the blood flows freely. The sounds disappear because smooth flowing blood does not create sounds. To determine the blood pressure in this simulation, click on the bulb repeatedly to inflate the cuff to 140 millimeters of mercury. Now, Here's a summary of what we've covered. Systolic pressure is the highest pressure in an artery. It is the result of ventricular contraction, or systole, pushing blood into the aorta and through the arteries. Diastolic pressure is the lowest pressure in an artery. It results from ventricular relaxation, or diastole. Pulse pressure equals systolic pressure minus diastolic pressure. Mean arterial pressure, or MAP, equals diastolic pressure plus one-third of the pulse pressure. When blood pressure is measured, the first sounds heard indicate systolic pressure. The end of the sounds indicate that diastolic pressure has been reached. To test your knowledge, click the quiz button to go to the self-quiz.